then grew into Sweet. 
heat, not lasting. The perfume is pints a minute, no more. No more but so? Think it no more. Perhaps he loves you now, but you must fear. His greatness weighed, his will is not his own. For he himself is subject to his birth. His choice depends the safety, health, this whole state. Fear it, Ophelia. Fear it, my dear sister. I keep you in the rear of your affection. I shall the effect of this good lesson keep this watchman to my heart. But, my good brother, do not, as some ungracious pastors do, show me the steep and thorny way to heaven. Oh, fear me not, I stay too long. But here my father comes. A double blessing is a double grace. <laughs> Occasion smiles upon a second leave. Most humbly do I take my leave, my lord. The time invites you. Go, your servants tend. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. Tis in my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key of it. Farewell. What is it, Ophelia, he hath said to you? So please you, something touching the Lord Hamlet. <laughs> Mary, well the thought. Tis told me he hath very oft of late given private time to you. And you yourself hath of your audience been most free and bounteous. If it be so, as so tis put on me, and that in way of caution, I must tell you, you do not understand yourself so clearly, as it behooves my daughter and your honor. What is between you? Give me up the truth. My lord, he hath of late with many tenders of his affections to me. Affection? <laughs> you speak like a green girl, unsifted in such perilous circumstance. Do you believe his tenders, as you call them? I do not know, my lord, what to think. Mary, I'll teach you. Think yourself a baby, that you have taken these tenders for true pay, which are not sterling. Tender yourself, more dear, or not to crack the wind of the poor phrase running at thus. You'll tender me a fool. My lord, he hath importuned me with love and honorable fashion. Love, love. Ah, uh, fashion you may call it. Go to, go to. He hath given countenance to his speech, my lord, with all the holy vows of heaven. Oh, Ophelia, do not believe his vows, for they are broken. It's not of that dye which their investments show, but mere imploratories of unholy suits. Breathing like sanctified and pious bots, the better to belie. This is for all. I would not, in plain terms, from this time forth, have you so slander any moment leisure as to give words or talk with the Lord Hamlet. Look to it, I charge you. Come your ways. I shall obey my Lord. Hamlet! Lord Hamlet. What have you done, my Lord, with the dead body? Show us where the body is. Go with us to the king. What? 
I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night and for the day confined to fast and fires, till the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away. Oh God! If thou didst ever thy dear father love, revenge is foul and most unnatural murder. Murder? Murder most foul, as in the best it is, but this most foul, strange, and unnatural. Now have a cheer. Tis given out to that sleeping in my orchard, a serpent stung me. So did the whole ear of Denmark is, by a forged process of my death, rankly abused. But no, thou noble youth, the serpent that did stain thy father's life now wears his crown. My prophetic soul, my uncle! Ah! That incestuous, that adulterate beast, sleeping within my orchard, my custom always of the afternoon. Upon my secure hour, with thy uncle's skull, with Jejus, a cursed Ebenar, and God, and in the porches of my ears to pour the leprous stone and terms whose effect holds such an enemy with blood of man that swift as bricks over a coarse sister in natural gates, hands of the body. Thus was I sleeping my brother's hand in light of crown of green, and once dispatched to crown even in the blossoms of my sin, unhousing disappointment, unallowed, no reckoning of me has been sent to my account of all my infections on my head. Howsoever thou pursuest his act, take not thy mind, nor let thy soul contrive against thy mother. Leave her to heaven, and those swords that in her bosom lodge to drink and sleep. Fair well, Lord, the globe of the shows in Latin to me, and gives to pale the unpunctual fire. I'll wipe away all trivial fond records, all saws of books, all forms, all pressures past that youth and observation copied there. And thy commandment all alone shall live within the book and volume of my brain, unmixed with baser matter. Yes, by heaven, O oh most pernicious woman, O oh, villain, villain, smiling, damned villain. My tables, I mean it is I set it down, that one may smile, and smile and be a villain. So, uncle, there you are. Now to my word, it is adieu, adieu. Remember me, I have sworn it.
is the question whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep. No more than by sleep to say we end the heartache of a thousand natural shocks that flush this air to, which is a consummation devoutly to be wished. The oppressor's wrongs, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the laws of life. No traveler returns. Puzzles the will that makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sinked o'er with the pale casts of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment of disregard. Their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, nymph in my orisons, be all my sins remembered. Good, my lord. How does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you. Well, well, well. Jeez. My lord, I have remembrances of yours that I have long longed to deliver. I pray you not receive them. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My lord, you are wrong, you did. Are you honest? Lord, are you fair? It means your lordship that if you be honest and fair, you're honest, you should admit no discourse to your beauty. Could beauty, my lord, have better discourse than with honesty? Ah, truly, for the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a god than the power of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was some time a paradox, but now the time gives it proof. I did love you once. Indeed, my lord, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. For virtue cannot so inoculate our own stock. But we should relish of it. I loved you not. I was more to see. Get thee to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent honest, though you could accuse me of such things, or better my mother had not borne me. Go that way is to a nunnery. Where is your father? At home, my lord. Let the doors be shut upon him. So that he might play the fool no more but in his own house. Farewell. Oh, sad post me to heavens, help him! I have heard of your addictions, too. God has given you one face, and you make yourself another. You jig, you amble, and you lisp. You nickname God's creatures, and make your wantonness your ignorance. Go to, all no more on it hath made me mad. I say, let there be no more marriages. Those that are married already, all but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To a nunnery. Go. Oh, but a noble mind is here, for no woe is me. To have seen what I've seen, see what I see. For us, for our tragedy, here's to be your clemency. We beg your hearing patience. Thirty times hath the fevish cart gone around. Since love our hearts and hymen in our hands unite, communal in both sacred bands. So many journeys with the sun and moon make us again count where as love be done. But woe with me, you are so sick of late, so far of reason from your former state, that I distrust you. Faith, I must leave thee, love, and shortly too. My operant powers their functions leave to do. And thou shalt leave in this fair world behind, honored, beloved, and happily won for all Oh, confound the rest! Such love needs to be treason in my breast. If second husband, let me be accursed. None wed the second, but you kill the first. The violence I have a grief poor joy. So think thou wouldst no second husband wed. But to die thy thoughts, when 
thy first lord is dead. Sweet, leave me here a while. My spirits grow dull and vain. I would beguile the tedious day with sleep. Then sleep from thy vain, and never come to chance between us twain. Honeying and making love over the nasty oh, side. Oh, no more. 
are. A murderer and a villain, a slave not twentieth part the tithe of your precedent lord, a vice of kings, a cut purse of the empire, and the rule that from a shelf the precious diadem stole and put it in his pocket. No more. A king of shreds and patches. Save me. Hover o'er me with your wings, you heavenly guards. What would your gracious figure? Alas, he's mad. Do you see nothing there? Nothing at all, yet all that is, I see. Look you, how he steals away, my father in his habit, as he lived. Look how he goes, even now, out of the portal. This is the very coinage of your frame. This bodiless creation ecstasy is very cunning in. Hamlet, who has cleft my heart in twain. Oh, throw away the worser part of it, and live the purer with the other half. Any old time you want me, I am yours 
would just be asking, darling, any old time you need me, I'll be there. With love that's lasting, darling, all through the years we'll stand together, sharing the tears and stormy weather and the sunshine. We'll be yours and
there's fennel for you and columbine. There's room for you. And there's a daisy. I want to give you some violets. But they all withered when my father died. finding happiness, uh, but I'm not just generally happy. If I'm generally anything, I guess I'm generally miserable. <laughs>
our trick. Nature custom holds. Let shame say what it will. When these are gone, the women shall be out. So do, my lord, a speech of fire that fade would blaze that this volume. When it's summer in the city, so long gone from the city, I start to miss you, baby. Sometimes, ooh, I start to miss you, baby. Sometimes, ooh, I start to miss you. Hamlet, the Dane, the devil, take thy soul. 
sir? What is the reason that you used me thus? I love you ever. It is no matter that Hercules himself did what he meant. The cat will mew. The dog will have his day. Thank you. 